Thank you for selecting this video for extra help on clarifying the differences between reporter genes and their uses in science research. To get started, I like to break down the name of reporter genes to get a sense of what they're all about. A reporter is a person who tells you where news is occurring, and a gene is a unit of heredity that often encodes a protein. So basically, this is a method that can be used to tell a scientist where a gene is being used in an organism especially if the reporter used is green fluorescent protein, or GFP, which fluoresces as a bright green color and was isolated from a species of jellyfish. Now, I mentioned previously that genes often encode proteins. They do this via transcription and translation, therefore different reporter genes can be transcriptional reporters or translational reporters. Don't panic, I know transcription and translation sound very similar, but I'll help you keep them straight. Transcription is the process of transcribing the double-stranded DNA code to a single-stranded mRNA transcript. Translation, on the other hand, is the process of translating the mRNA code into amino acids that are joined together to form a protein. Transcriptional reporter genes are joined to the controller region of the gene, more formally known as the promoter. This fusion product is usually integrated into the genome away from the native gene and contains its own stop codon. Therefore, this type of reporter monitors promoter activity and can only reveal what tissues transcribe the reporter in the organism. Translational reporter genes are fused to the gene of interest and produce a reporter tagged protein. This type of reporter monitors protein stability and reveals where a protein is made and where it localizes in the cell. You may ask, why is this an important method to use? Well, scientists can use reporter genes to characterize a new gene of interest by determining what cells express it, by using a transcriptional reporter gene, where it goes in specific cells by using a translational reporter gene, and the conditions it responds to by using either type of reporter. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helps.